hello guys welcome to dtw tutorials welcome today i'm sure you're surprised seeing my hands this way that's my fingernails this way but i just want to welcome you to friday's mass trick okay welcome where today i'm going to be teaching you a trick on how you could learn you could do your times table with your fingers okay it's a simple trick i had to do this video this way that's the live one but later on i'm going to upload a digital version okay now this is just to help you to connect with what I'm saying before I do the digital version. All right. Yes. And if you haven't subscribed, please, I beg, support my ministry. Just click on the button down there, that subscribe button. Please click on it just to encourage me to do more. Okay. Click on it. Subscribe now. Thank you so much. Okay. So, what, how do we do this? Now, this trick is to help us uh, with the times table 6 to 10. Okay, let's say for instance, you have this timetable. This is a 7 times table. Okay, so it will help us to learn the from uh, 7 downwards to what, 10 times table. You know, this is quite the difficult one in our multiplication tables where it's so hard to find out. Even in your exams, like especially when you want to write jump, uh, you know, the tension and all that, you might easily forget these ones because they are quite harder. That's your 7 times 8, your 8 times 9 and all. So they are quite harder. So how do we get this? how do we know this and put that back your your mind that you need to know your one times table to five times table where because that's quite easy but i know students always have a problem from your six times table downwards okay because uh for of my years like about nine years of teaching i noticed that multiplication table it's it's what gives people problems in maths so i am doing this to help you with your maths okay so how do we do this? Let's say for instance, okay, let me flip this over. Let's say for instance, let's take an example. Let's say we want to do eight times nine. Okay, what do you do? This is the finger eight, right? Eight. Now, all you need to do is look at your hands this way. This is my left hand and this is my right hand. Okay, where this big, big tone will be your six. This will be your seven. This will be your eight, nine and ten. You can see how easy this is. This will be also on your right, right hand. This finger, will be your big thumb finger will be your six, seven, eight and nine and ten. Okay, so let's say we want to do it eight times nine. How do we do this? This is the finger eight, right? And this is the finger nine. So we'll place this together. Okay, so let's count the, the fingers that are below this particular two fingers and also count the two, the two fingers as well. So let's count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so that's seven. So what do we do? We write it down. We have a seven down. Then the next thing, if, you know, they are together, right? So we have a two here and one. So all we need to do is say a two times one. And once two times one, that is two. So our answer is what 72. You can see how easy that is. Okay, let's do another example. Let's say we want to do a nine times seven. So this is nine and this is seven, right? So put this together. Then let's count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that not it? Six. Let's write it down. We write a six down. Then what is left? We have a one. Then this is one, two, three. So this will be three times one. And what's three times one? That is three. So we write it down. We see 63. So you can see this can really help you relax yourself. You know, ease that tension when you get into the exam or when you, let's say you just forget. It happens. I remember in my school days, it also happened to me. Okay, so this is how, this is the trick of how you can get uh your times table with using your fingers okay let's say for example let's say we have a seven times six okay this is quite tricky so this is a seven and this is what a six so we put this together we have a one two three okay so let's write that three down first all right and what is left so right this is what we have so we have a three here and we have a four here so what do we do what's four times three four times three is what 12. so we write down the 12 down here and we add this so this will be what a four 
and 2. So we get a or 42. That's for numbers that won't uh, directly uh, use the, you know, the first method I did. Okay, it also happened with 6. You can try that. I give you as an assignment, try that on your own. So thank you for staying tuned to this mass trick for today don't forget to click the subscribe button and also share this video with your friends help a colleague and if you're so a parent try to teach your child all right thank you stay well bye hello at dtw tutorials we offer online tutoring on math physics and other science subjects at an affordable price email us today thank you